Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Summer festivals in North Carolina will often center around an activity or a product the local community is particularly fond of. In Pender County, at this time of year, it's blueberries. This Saturday, the population of Burgall will swell to five, six, maybe seven or eight times its normal size, if the weather permits. That's because it's time again for the official North Carolina Blueberry Festival. Like any respectable outdoor gathering at the coast, the North Carolina Blueberry Festival promises to bring the music. There will be dancing in the streets, refreshments, historic automobiles, and most importantly, the premier crop in Pender County this time of year, blueberries. We made the decision that we wanted to have a festival in Burgall and we wanted something that was representative of the area, not just to have a festival. Uh, the first high bush blueberries ever planted in North Carolina were planted in Pender County. Uh, I understand the guy bought land for 50 cent an acre back in the 30s, and it is a multi-million dollar crop right now. In fact, Pender County is the second-ranked blueberry producer in North Carolina, and this festival has been the official state celebration for the little fruit since 2004. So we wanted to have something that would show our agricultural roots, which we are an agricultural county, and it's just grown, grown beyond our wildest expectations. Okay. Would you like a bag for this? Uh, yes, it is. Based on the attendance in past years, as many as 30,000 visitors might be on hand for this year's event. When there is no festival in town, Burgos' population is just over 4,000 people. It's small, but folks here think they have plenty to offer visitors in the way of good food, entertainment, and maybe even some education. We've got car shows, we've got an antique show and sale at the historic Derp, uh, depot. We have the oldest depot in the state, 1850 one of only two that can trace its history uh, to the antebellum period. Part of the lifeline of the Confederacy, Yankees came down and tried to burn it up, but we saved it. There's absolutely no charge to attend the North Carolina Blueberry Festival, but there are plenty of possibilities to put your dollars down if you want to. Lots of arts and crafts, activities for all members of the family, and always some good food much of it involving blueberries fresh picked from just outside of town. What you got there? Uh, blueberry slushy. Yeah. From Blue Mill Vineyard, Dalton, uh -huh. North Carolina. Yeah. Any place is good for eating blueberries, but not every place has the right conditions to grow them like they do here. Blueberries don't like real car, uh, heavy soil. They like a very loose, sandy soil very much attuned to what a white a lonely pine does. Lonely pine does not take premium land to grow on, neither does blueberries. But you will find it to be a prime time at the North Carolina Blueberry Festival at Burgar. I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. The 8th Annual North Carolina Blueberry Festival will be held on Saturday, June 18th in historic downtown Burgar. For more information, you can call 910 Two five nine nine eight one seven, or go online to ncblueberryfestival.com. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.